not just one person who inspired me to go into science, but it's a collection of people who inspired me to become a scientist. It started at school. I enjoyed science because I liked problem solving and finding out how things worked, but I wasn't always happy with the simple solutions and answers we were given in class. But I had really fantastic teachers who were enthusiastic and encouraged me to ask questions and look further into things. Then uh, next, I guess, was my PhD supervisor who encouraged me to be bold and tackle things that I might otherwise have shied away from. And also, very early on in my career, I was supported by many colleagues and mentors who were always there to give me advice. Now I'd like to ask the same questions to colleagues in China and India. Who inspired you to go into science? And what advice would you give to young women just starting their careers in science? The woman who had a big influence on my career was my mother. She encouraged me to study science at a very young age and even changed my school to ensure I got a good foundation. This was very special because at the time very few girls considered careers at the place I was in, let alone careers in science. Sadly though, she did not live long enough to see me graduate to a PhD and start my research career. The greatest influence on my life was my mother because uh, she told me about Marie Curie even when I was in primary school. So, although I'm not a chemist, I'm a physicist, uh, but I knew the name of Marie Curie before I knew the name of any physicist. And uh, in fact, she set her up as a role model for me. And, uh, when I was 11, my parents gave me a chemistry set as a Christmas present. Uh, actually, what I really wanted was a Meccano set, but uh, my parents uh, uh, probably thought that was uh, uh, only for boys, even though they were pretty liberal-minded. Actually, she really wanted me to be a doctor, but uh, I found biology and chemistry too difficult. It was too much to memorize, and uh, I find physics much easier, actually. So that's there, are, there are at least several people who have inspired me. One is my former PhD supervisor. Um, he is a man of great vision. Uh, dedication and passion for science, he inspires me to strive for research excellence. Another one is the headmistress of my secondary school. Uh, she is a great educator, uh, a man, uh, a woman of strong mind and determination and firm belief and always holding on to principles. And then the other one is the biology teacher of my secondary school. She shows me what dedication is all about. She worked long hours even when she was pregnant and she was spending time with us in class not long before she gave birth to her twin babies and she always reminds us the Chinese saying you should enjoy your work and you should respect your work. My PhD supervisors, they inspired me to aim high and uh, made me believe I could achieve my goals. I think Professor Bu Xinghan had been the greatest influence on my career. He showed me how much you can do when you are passionate about your subject. Many research scientists play important roles in my career, but the people who influenced me the most is my PhD supervisor, Professor Ma Jinming from Peking University, because of his attitude uh, work. My message to young women starting their careers in science would be to be bold and look for a big challenge and to trust your instincts and never to be afraid to ask questions and to ask for advice. So the message I want to give young scientists is believe in yourself. If you have confidence that you add value and that your experiments will work, many of the problems just disappear. What I would like to say to girls is that don't believe the myth that girls can't do science. They can be just as good as the boys. They just uh, go for it. So long as you have the patience and the determination, I think anybody, any girl, can uh, do science. So I strongly believe that um, irrespective of one's gender, um, ethnic or any other background, so long as you have the passion, dedication, determination, uh, you'll be able to excel and to do work of excellent quality. And I don't believe there's any difference between a man and a woman, uh, both in terms of the intellectual ability or capability for research. 
And so I would encourage young women not to be discouraged by traditional social values or family pressures. Just go and pursue your dreams and then your dream will come true. It's definitely worth pursuing your sense if you enjoy it. Um, as well as careers in research, it also opens so many other doors and you can get involved with so many things on the basis of having a scientific education. I will tell them to be determined, passionate and work hard. Working research can be terribly frustrating on bad days when things don't work. But on days when things go away, it can be amazingly rewarding. Science or research has a lot uh, uh, to offer for anyone who uh, with an inquiry mind that uh, science is challenging, fulfilling, and science can be fun. Thanks.